Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another Valorant video. Today we're going to be talking about some Valorant console and basically what the best settings are for beginner guides or just for beginner people and people who just are touching Valorant for the first time. So let's get right into it. So for map wise, uh, I, li I like to stick with rotate map person with player. I like to turn this off, okay? So mostly because I like to have a full description or a picture of the map. And I don't like it rotating, especially the way I the way I play. For me personally, since I am a Sentinel main when it comes to PC, I like to see the whole map. I like to see where my trip wires are or where my kill uh sorry kill bot is all around the map. And all I want to do is I want to have a visual representation of where the enemies are and trying to read where enemies are. Okay, so if I have a big enough map. I can see the whole map and I can see where the enemies are playing and I can just my strategies through there. Well, if I have too small of a map, I might not see an alarm bot from the across map going popping off while I'm in the uh, this portion of the map, right? So I like to have my map pretty big and that's my goal pretty much of anytime I design a map thing. Uh, keep player centered. Um, I, I want to turn this off only because I don't mind seeing myself just navigating through the map. If you keep it centered, the mini map will like pretty much like adjust with it and you won't get a perfect broadcast of the whole map. You would have to make the map size very small. I personally don't like that. That's just me. Don't map regions. I like to turn it on always. I like to know what portion of the map. So for the new players or people who are just learning callouts, I will shout maybe shout the region name or something like that. It's again up to you. I like I like to turn this uh, always on. Okay, mini map size uh, one point two. I like to have it as big as possible and just reduce the zoom. Right, I want to have pretty much everywhere in that circle. I want to have the whole map zoomed in, and I and you can just see myself. Okay, so if I wanted to see myself do some things, or I see a alarm bot on the other side of the map by the teleporter that is there. I can with my portion of the map. Uh, mini map vision cones. That's again, that's up to you. That's I just keep it on no matter what. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, content filter. I keep all this on. I really don't care that if you're a parent, turn it off. If you don't like gore, turn it off. Uh, for privacy wise, I turn all the, I keep this all off. Just mine per, just for me purposely. For other, I personally like to use it on yellow. I like to see my enemies in yellow. Now, I recently done this mostly because I've noticed that yellow really pops on some maps compared to red because red is a nightmare on some maps to see. I uh, show bullet tracers. I like to keep this on, especially because of the whole argument between va vandals and phantoms and which gun's better. Phantoms don't like you can pretty much see the bullet tracers kind of not really uh but it's really clear of i want to see everything this is a preset that i want to have on and i want to know where my bullets are going that's pretty much it no new uh player tips you can keep this off or on it just depends on if you're a new player that's up to you first person handiness handiness uh play around with it just because it starts off with right, doesn't mean you can't go with left. Uh, language easy, or oh, sorry, e easy. English, United States. That's for me personally. Uh, profile default. I use it, continue to use the default. However, do play around with uh, certain things. So you can play around with maybe certain uh, button or binds for specific agents. I know I will probably be doing it for Jet, Astra, and Raze off the top of my head when I start playing those characters a bit more. Because um, Satchel Lane is very important when it comes to a raised player. And the fact that the bind is X, I believe, for my preset anyway, is not good. I would prefer, probably prefer it to be R2, just the way my binds work. I think it would probably be a bit easier. Last thing I need is to move off the right stick to press an X button. Like That's the last thing you, you want to do. Uh, then we go to preset. I use tactician. I like to keep it simple, nothing easy. I'm not, I'm not jumping or anything. 
I, I every Call of Duty, I always do L1 and R1 ever since PlayStation 3. And I always prefer it that way. No, even if the left two or R2 now are designated for um, triggers, I prefer the L1 and R1. That's just me personally. Uh, for button wise, I keep it the same. I have not changed that at all, but do be don't be afraid to mess with any of this. Again, a lot of this is personal preference, especially when it comes to the binds. There's no one right bind. The key thing is now is horizontal sensitivity and vertical sensitivity for base, vertical, ADS, sniper, and focus. Okay. So I want to start off with the base aim curve, especially the way I the way I work it. For the base aim curve, I like to go with five out of nine, the extreme one. So for the focus, I like smooth. For the ADS, I like smooth. And for the sniper, I like extreme. Now I gotta play with around the sniper with much. I'm not in love with it, but I just kept it just like that. I might actually just hit it the smooth. Probably again, it's all about personal preference here. Uh for myself, I've noticed that extreme works for me. And then for focus and ADS, smooth has been working. I don't snipe it much, so I just for a default, I just left it at its extreme. But for the amount of gun plays or gun fights I've been in, I feel like I have won more with extreme than any other of the settings, but that might be just recently by bi recent bias, but yeah. Um, for aim outer dead zone and aim inner dead zone, I like to keep it at 0.95 and 0.1. Now that's only because that's my controller preference. Do play around with it. It's completely up to you. Uh, invert vertical aim. Um, I just turned this off. I will never mess with this. I, I like going up. I want to go up. I point up. If I want to go down, I point down. For the people who do like the invert vertical aim, you guys are crazy. For the sniper behavior and the focus ADS behavior, I like to keep it on hold. Every FPS game, I've always kept it on hold. I will never change it for me personally. Uh, focus ADS priority. I like to prioritize focus mostly. I find I'm not gonna, you don't really ADS as much in this game compared to other games because you kind of want to go from the hip. That's just me personally, but definitely don't be afraid to play around with it. I like to focus on behavior. That's me personally. Now, this is probably more of the more contra maybe the controversial thing is, and I will say this play around with your base and horizontal sensitivity and vertical sensitivity, play around with it. There's no right way. It's all about personal comfort and stuff. So my base horizontal sensitivity and my vertical sensitivity is always five. I like to look around basically before I get to gunfights. And I like to keep it the same. So if I have to shoot a recon dart, I'll hit it if it's in my corner and then I'll drag it back where the enemy is at the same pace. Okay. Well, when I know I'm going to get into a gunfight, I like to keep my horizontal sensitivity on six and my vertical sensitivity on four or three it really depends on my what my feeling that day but i'll just keep it on three so my thought process is this when i'm going into gunfights and especially if i have proper proper crosshair placement all you're going to be doing in most gunfights is going back and forth horizontally you're never actually going to go be going up and down that's me personally so i like to have some more flexibility when it comes to horizontal sensitivity so i might if somebody like wide swings me all, all i have to worry about is going left to right and i don't have to worry about going up and down because like especially when you're doing mouse and keyboard and a lot of people have trouble going left to right smoothly without dipping and stuff but because you're on controller it's actually a very a lot easier to go left to right pretty quickly especially with the aim assist so that's pretty much my settings my base settings for now uh, my ADS sensitivity and stuff, I, I really don't use it as, as much, but I just keep it at six. Uh, I might actually just turn this down, actually, just by one. But my uh, sniper horizontal sensitivity, I keep it at six, especially for the flicking. It's very easy to snipe in this game once you get used to it, but that's just me. Uh, Movement-wise, I like to hold crouch for behavior. That's, pers that's me personally. It's basically the exact same bind I do it for PC. Uh, you're not going to do much crouching in this game because I'm trying. You don't want to. And last thing you need is to rely on crouching for gunfights like I am when it comes to PC. And if you can get rid of that habit, do not like really continue just to avoid crouching at all. Like if necessary, unbind it. 
The walk and run threshold is actually one of my favorite features within uh, the Valorant console thing. It's actually so creative between kind of like a dead zone area, like an inner versus outer dead zone area. So I keep it at 0.899. And so when I know if I need to walk slowly, I all I had to do is just slightly move my L3 up, or sorry, my left um, stick up just gently. But if I want to run, I'll just throw it up. Like I'll just press it up. Uh, default movement mode. I, I just, I just go do run. I prefer running like that. Uh, movement dead zone. Um, I just keep it point two. There's no, nothing I'm going to change about that. I like the way my settings are right now. Currently when it comes to movement wise. And right now for me, it's just all about going through proper crosshair placement and one of my gunfights. That's all I have to worry about now. And Cause I feel like they've done pretty good with the default settings for the advanced stuff. I like to tap for secondary and then double tap for alt fire. Now you can definitely go to hold uh, the tri or the triangle button, but that's just me personally. I like double tapping. Um, the L2 and R2, I like to pretty much just keep it minimum just so I can do it. Hold, I would suggest do it on hold. Eventually you're going to learn that sometimes you're going to have to fake the bomb plant to get somebody to peek you. And so I think it's better to hold the down. I believe it's down the D uh, for me. It's down the D pad. So it's better to hold simple as that strongest auto equip priority. Yes. Dance indicator. Yes. Walk while in focus. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. The reason why is because when you're in gunfights, sometimes you're going to have to move around a lot. And so when you uh, hit two shots, you should be going to the left. Stopping, hit another two shots. Location. You don't want to stay stay stationary. And I feel like walking is a little bit too stationary when you're getting to gunfights. And I think this is going to be a big feature between pro players on console versus noobs on console, especially that walk while in focus feature. Vibration. Uh you gotta turn that off. Crosshair stuff, that's completely up to you. Staps wise, I like to show my uh FPS in the top left hand corner. You can use the other stuff. Me personally, I don't. I, I think it gets in my head sometimes and I start blaming it. But if I just see a constant 120 MPS on the console for me, I know that pretty much most gunfights I lose or if any gunfights I lose, it's because of me or I get outplayed. I don't know how many times I can say I turn all these on. This is uh pretty much everything for you. Uh, For duck music, I turn this on. And then enable our HRTF. I turn this on to especially like enhanced listening, especially for footsteps. You want to hear all the good stuff when it comes to footstep stuff. Well, basically everybody, that is it for my settings. So that's it everybody. This is it for the video. Peace out. Hopefully everybody has a wonderful time and I'll see you on Valorant. And the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video.